Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another medical terminology prefixes that de uh, that denotes direction, position, or movement. Okay. So to explain this, what we will do? First of all, I will tell you the prefix uh, with their terminology, and then we will see few examples of uh, of uh, similar terminology that will clear your concept of prefixes okay so this is we are going to proceed with this session so let's see the first prefix the first prefix is ecto exo okay so here i am also assigning the alternative uh, prefix uh, for the same thing let's say if, uh, outside or outer is uh, rep we can represent outer and outside with two uh, prefix then i uh, i have uh, associated both the pre prefix here itself okay instead of uh, declaring other uh, slides i am using the same uh, like i'm just uh, organizing the same kind of prefix at the one place okay fine so the first prefix is ecto or exo now why we use ecto or exo prefix we use ecto or exo prefix in order to indicate something as outer or outside you got my point like whenever you want to show something as outer or outside then in that case we will use the term ecto or exo okay after that we have ecto uh, like here I have noted down a couple of uh, you can say examples for the terminology which will help you to understand the meaning of ecto so let's see the first example first example is for ectopic beat ectopic beat means an abnormal heart beat originating outside the normal pacemaker of the heart so whenever something is originating outside the normal pacemaker of heart then in that case we will consider that beat as a ectopic beat now you can see here the term ecto is uh, used to showcase something as outside as i told you right so whenever we are uh, denoting something as outside we will use the prefix ecto remember in this session or in this series so far we have only we are only discussing about the prefixes not the entire terminology although from example it is clear like why we use ectopic beat terminology but we are just focusing on the prefixes okay so an abnormal heartbeat originating outside the normal pacemaker of the heart is defined with ectopic beat then next terminology we have is ectoplasm which means the outer layer of the cytoplasm in some cell so whenever you want to show something as outer layer of cytoplasm then we will use the terminology ectoplasm where we are using the act as ecto as a prefix clear fine so these are the two example for ecto now we will focus on the exo so for exo we have two uh, terminology exocrine gland and exo exostis uh, exostosis okay so let's discuss about the exocrine gland a gland that releases its secretion through the ducts to the external surface or into a cavity so here the term external is also something related to outside external world outside world right or outer so that's why we are using the term uh, prefix as exo in order to show that a gland that releases its secretion through the ducts to external surface or into a cavity then we will use the terminology exocrine gland then we have exostosis which means an abnormal outgrowth of bone tissue typically on the surface of the bone so again it is showing outgrowth typically on the surface of the bone okay so this thing is again uh, related to the outside mo position that's why we are using the term exo okay by exo exostosis then the next prefix we have is endo ent or entro endo ent or entro these prefixes are used in order to showcase the uh, indicate the within or inner something as within or inner okay so to explain this there are a couple of example i have noted down let's go one by one each example the first example is endocardium 
endocardium means the inner lining of the heart so whenever you want to show something as inner lining of the heart then we will use the terminology endocardium okay and uh, the term here endo is mainly used in order to showcase something as inner or within fine now the next example is most commonly used term which is endoscopic endoscopy means a medical procedure that uses an endoscope to visualize the interior body or cavity or organ so whenever we are indicating something as interior of the body okay and then that procedure use the endoscope to visualize the interior of the body then in that case we will use the terminology endoscopy and it is most commonly used term in the medical domain right so here also we are using endo in order to show something as interior or inside interior is also related to inner part that's why all right then we have endotracheal tube what does it mean endotracheal tube means a tube inserted through the mouth or nose into the trachea to maintain an open airway so whenever you uh, a patient is required for the uh, endotracheal tube then in that case a tube is inserted through the mouth or nose into the trachea to maintain an open airway for their bre proper breathing so again this is something that we are inserting in the at the interior of the body and that's why we are using the terminology uh, endotracheal tube with a prefix endo okay then we have inter interior internal nutrition interior nutrition means the delivery of nutrients directly into the gastrointestinal tract okay so again here you can see we are delivering something directly inside or within the gastro intestinal uh, instantial tract okay so in that case we will use the terminology internal internal nutrition and the prefix is ent okay enter okay fine now the next prefix is epi now why we use epi epi prefix is mainly used in order to showcase something as upon or outside of there are a couple of example for epi like epidermal relating to or located on the outer layer of the skin which is epidermis okay epidermis so whenever you are uh, using uh, something some terminology or prefix in order to showcase something as uh, something as uh, the outer layer of the skin then in that case we will use the terminology epidermal which is using the epi prefix to showcase something as upon or outer next is epicardium now epicardium is mainly used to showcase the outer layer of the heart wall we also discuss about the endocardium where we were discussing about the inner lining of the heart right but this time we are using epicardium which is used to showcase the outer layer of the heart wall so again we are using outer it means something outside then that's why we are using the terminology epicardium with prefix epi now next third example for epi is epigastric epigastric means pertaining to the region located upon the stomach so whenever we are uh, showcasing any region that is located upon the stomach then in that case we will use the we will use the terminology epigastric okay and here we are using the term epi which is used to showcase the showcase something as upon you can see region upon the stomach and the last example for epi is epiphyte epiphyte means a plant that grows upon another plant but does not grow uh, does not draw the nourishment from it okay so here again we are showing something upon a plant upon another plant which is showing a plant that grows upon another plant but does not draw nourishment from it then in that case we will use that terminology epiphyte where epi is denoting the sense of upon or outside so yeah these are the some prefixes that we use in order to showcase something uh, as a movement or position or location okay so today we covered ecto 
exo, endo, ent, entro, and epi. These are very useful terminology and prefixes. So I request you to keep a note of it so that whenever you are preparing for any interview round or any exam, then in that case, you can simply refer these points because we here we are covering only those prefixes which are easy to understand and which is uh, most frequently used whether in terms of medical coding or medical science. Okay. So yeah, these this is all about for today topic and the question for today is uh, the question is what information is provided by the prefix dia and cycl okay so this thing we have already covered in our previous session so i recommend you to put the answer in the chat or in the comment section so that others can take a reference from it okay so keep sharing your knowledge in the comment section and yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech Sherman.